homework review video and this is also going to be my weigh-in video and some organization for you. Like I said last week, I was going to try to separate this out from my weekly vlogs because the weekly vlog video is so long and then I feel like we're just kind of cramming this stuff in there. Y'all know I get a little bit chatty so I want to feel like I have time to give a good review and um, show some other stuff as well. So that's why I decided to separate these out. Of course, we have Mr. Charlie here. And if you haven't already, go follow his new channel. He has um, started his DIY channel and it is called Charlie Shows You How. And I will have the link for his channel down in the description box below. Anything you want to say about your channel? Um, I guess not. I mean, it's just basic do-it-yourself stuff for cars and maybe around the house stuff. Yeah, so he bought uh, an older Land Rover. It's a 2003 with a lot of miles on it, and there's lots of different little projects and stuff that he needs to do to it so that it's running well before he can sell his truck and that be his primary vehicle. So those will be his first few videos that he puts out, but then um, there will be, you know, house stuff and woodworking stuff. I have some projects that I want him to do for me as well. So yeah, we are going to keep him busy. And um, again, it will be down in the description box below. And if you are new to my channel and you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you don't miss any time that I upload. And also, if you haven't followed me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I will leave my Instagram handle for you here as well. And, you know, I just love Instagram because I feel like I can really connect with y'all and, you know, talk back and forth. And I don't know, I feel like I've met so many people through YouTube and Instagram. It's one of the greatest things and it has been um, such a blessing, I guess, in my life because there's so many wonderful people that I have met out there that has truly touched my heart and I am appreciative of each and every one of y'all. Also, if you are not on Instagram or even if you you know, just want to be in the Facebook group. I do have a Facebook group. I have the link for that down in the description box below so that you can join that Facebook group. Just click that and I will add you to that group as well. So first of all, we will just talk about the meal prep review, which I have to remember what we had last week. I can't never remember because it's been so Too long. Much chicken. Okay, so I did make the chicken and quinoa and bell peppers. That is an old recipe, one that I used to make a long, long time ago, back when I was counting macros and stuff. And it is just really um, point friendly and macro friendly. It's got the lean ground, the lean chicken breast that I really just season up however you want to. I think this time I used um, some kind of spicy chicken seasoning, the Weber's, and of course my usual chili ground cumin stuff like that and then we just you know saute the bell peppers in a skillet just season those with salt and pepper and then the quinoa um, and the trick to having good quinoa is to put some chicken broth in it or if you cook it on the stove you can put a chicken bouillon cube in it as well which is what I used to do but now that I have a rice cooker you can cook the quinoa in the rice cooker as well and the first time I tried to put just like a chicken bouillon cube in there I guess since it's not boiling and it's not moving around, it was like the bouillon didn't disperse evenly throughout the quinoa. So I just now replace some of the water that needs to go in it with chicken broth. If you watch that meal prep video, then you will see that. But I know a lot of people are like, I don't really like quinoa. It's kind of plain tasting. But if you add the chicken broth, and I think I did add a little bit of pepper in with this one, I thought that it was really good. But uh, I will have that uh, video linked down below as well so that you can refer back to it for that um, recipe. So what did you think of the chicken quinoa and peppers? Because you're the one that requested it. <laughs> yeah, I always like that one. That's a good one. It's a good one. Um, so yeah, Charlie, what we usually try to do each week is try a new recipe and then, you know, a repeat recipe. So something that it's easy for me to make and then something else that, you know, and it's not that it's hard to make, but it takes a little bit more thought, something that I have to create a new recipe for in my recipe builder and figure out the points because y'all know I make modifications to everything. So he's the one that reminded me of the chicken and quinoa and peppers. And it's really so easy to make and it definitely needs to be in the rotation more often because I don't know, it was really good. It was the perfect amount of food. Uh, we just had a cup of quinoa, a good amount of chicken and the peppers, and yeah, it was satisfying. Mm -hmm. I used to season the chicken up more with like Italian seasoning and stuff, but now I've kind of got away from that. I think that it tastes better the way that I do it now with the spicy seasonings and everything. So, and I really like to cook that chicken until it's almost nice and crispy on the outside. Y'all know I like everything well done. 
Um, and then the new recipe that we tried was lasagna soup, which I, of course, modified that and used penne pasta. No, it was rotini um, red lentil pasta that we used and ground turkey, not the sausage that it called for. I just seasoned that up with Italian seasonings just to give it the taste. So what was your thought on the lasagna soup? I like it. It had that, you know, good Italian-like flavor to it. It was kind of like a lasagna type meal of a soup. Yeah, I thought that it tasted like lasagna, to be honest. It was mm. pretty good. Um, it ended up to be four points per serving. And I really do like that red lentil pasta. Do you like that pasta? Yeah, I like it. And I wasn't sure about it at first. I personally don't eat a lot of regular pasta anymore. I feel like it kind of... I don't know, it like makes my body swell or makes me feel inflamed or something. There are certain foods that I don't eat a lot of. Beef is one of them, pasta is one of them. Um, I really can't think of anything else off the top of my head that I just try not to eat that much of. But a lot of people ask, you know, why I don't eat a lot of beef. And that's why, because that makes me feel a little bit inflamed. But I do like to have a good cheeseburger sometimes or a good steak, stuff like that. Um, and then on the pasta, I found that red lentil pasta and I thought that I would try it a few weeks ago. We made like a turkey, I can't even remember what that one was. It was some kind of pasta with the ground turkey and we put some veggies and stuff in there. And I thought, you know, I really do like this red lentil pasta and it, ha and it holds up really well. It doesn't get soft sitting in the refrigerator kind of like other pasta does. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I was afraid that it would get really mushy, but I think that it, you know, holds up well and it reheats well. So. Um, that's the second time that we've used that red lentil pasta, so I would definitely recommend it. And I think that's a Barilla pasta, which Barilla pasta is just about the only one that we ever buy anyway. And don't forget the biscuits. Oh, the garlic mm -hmm. rolls. <laughs> that's Charlie's favorite part. He called them biscuits. So, mm -hmm. yes, the two-ingredient dough. I love to make the garlic rolls, and that is Charlie's favorite thing, I think, that I make. It's so funny because I threatened to not let him have any of his garlic rolls last week. I can't remember what he was doing, but I was like, if you keep it up, then you're not going to get any of these garlic <laughs> rolls. I'll just have six each night, and you won't get any. He's like, uh-uh. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so you love the garlic rolls? They're good. Yeah. So, if y'all have not tried those, try them. I mean, they do not taste like they are made from flour and yogurt with just some garlic uh, powder in there. Of course, I do sprinkle the garlic salt and stuff on top. That is the key to really making them good, to really making them yummy. Spray them with that butter spray and then sprinkle that garlic salt on top and it is delicious. So, anything else on the meal? No. Of course, I had my chocolate protein cookies. He does not eat those. I ate those by Wednesday or Thursday night. It was like every, I, I had missed them the week before whenever we had the muffins. And so I was really like Sunday night, Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, I guess were the nights that I ate those. So I ended up having to have one of my enlightened ice cream bars on Thursday and Friday and Saturday night, which was okay. I liked those, but I just didn't want to make another batch in the middle of the week. So Anyway, overall, I felt like it was a great meal prep. It was actually an easy meal prep. I thought that making that lasagna soup was super easy. I thought it was going to be harder than what it was, but it will definitely go into the regular rotation, I think. Don't you? It's good. You know, sometimes I make things and it's kind of like, ah, you know, it was okay, but I may or may not ever make it again, you know? But, um, yeah, so now I'm really trying to keep track of things that we really like, and that way, you know, it can go into our regular things that we remake. Okay, so enough about that. My weigh-in this week was actually uneventful. I pretty much weighed the same. I was either up or down two-tenths of a pound, so to me that's the same weight, um, which I was not surprised by that. Uh, I feel like since we've been working out and lifting the weights and stuff at night, that maybe that's just kind of making me hold on to weight a little bit. Um, I know sometimes a lot of people struggle with working out because the scale's not going down as much, but you know, I feel like if we just keep going, eventually my weight is going to start coming back down some more. So, the same weight as I was the week before. I think it's 142.8 or something like that before, and I think I weighed 143 yesterday. So, yeah, two-tenths difference. So, to me, that's pretty much the same. I'm okay at this weight. Again, if I stay this weight forever, it's fine. I'm fine with it either way. Um, I am still, you know, in weight loss mode. I'm not in maintenance or anything yet. I would love to get down to like 138. We'll see if it happens. I don't know. I've never really been that low. I've actually never been as low as I am right now either. So, 
Um, I know one week I did hit 140, so I know that it is possible. It's just my weight shot right back up because of Easter weekend right after that. And then we've started working out with the weights and it just hasn't come back down yet, but it will. Like I always preach, it's just that consistency and discipline. And, you know, I feel like over time, over the next few weeks, I will come on down. If I could at least get down to around 140, then I would be super happy with that. But extra, extra happy if I could hit the 130s. I don't know if I've ever been in the 130s as an adult. So anyway, again, yeah, just keep going with it. Overall, the scale, you know, it will move on down and eventually you will get there. So, uh, okay, I guess that's it for this part. We're going to roll into some organization and then I will come back and close this out. Okay, guys. So this is going to be my little project to show y'all for organization and it is our medicine cabinet. Do not judge me for how messy this is, but I do have some little baskets to organize everything with and half of them are pink and half of them are gray, mostly because they didn't have enough gray ones. So we are gonna see how we can organize this. This is a lot of baskets, but pretty much it will be three for each shelf. There are three shelves. So we are going to take everything out and set it out here on the counter and get busy. So you probably see like a little time lapse of this because I know you don't want to see every detail, but that is the plan. I should have, what, one, two, three. Yeah, I do have six of these. Okay, I was making sure. So I have six pink ones, and then I have three gray baskets. So we're gonna see. Charlie is going to probably stand up there and hand me everything down, and I'm just gonna start organizing and putting it in and um, throwing away stuff that is expired because I'm sure that a lot of it is old and expired as well. Okay, so some of this stuff is my stuff, some is Charlie's, some is for both of us, and then we also have some for my granddaughter. So anything for my granddaughter, I'm definitely going to put in one of the little pink baskets. And then for Charlie and me for our vitamins and stuff, some of these are like these big containers, so they are definitely going to go in probably the big gray baskets. So that's probably all the talking that I'm going to do. We're just going to um, go through and see what we can get organized. Oh, well, one thing, I do have a lot of these um, like migraine pills. I'm probably going to put those in some kind of bag or something. I don't get these filled anymore, but I'm not going to get rid of them since I take that Amovig shot, which these just have like six pills in each little container. Uh, but for months, I was still getting them filled, and yes, I have a stash of those, but if you suffer from migraines, then you know the struggle is real, and you never want to get rid of those drugs, because these are not cheap, so I'm definitely going to hold on to them. That actually isn't one. That's some Synthroid, which I don't take Synthroid anymore, so let's get to organizing.
something on your mind I'ma try to help you let it go You got, you got you got something okay guys here is the completed shelf i will back up and get a good view for you but this looks so much better and so much more organized than what it was before i know that it seems like we have a lot of stuff a lot of things are supplements a lot of things are prescriptions and stuff of mine so anyway guys i think this looks really good it's much more organized. We went through, a lot of stuff was old. Some things even expired in like 2013, 2011, believe it or not. We are much more organized. So proud of this, so proud to get it done. Glad that Charlie helped me. It only took us about a half hour or so, but anywho, it is done. Okay guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. We had our meal prep review, my weigh-in review and we finally organized the medicine cabinet which i did show you all close-ups of i know it probably seems like we have a lot of stuff but between us and the kids and stuff over the years we've just accumulated a lot i knew that it needed to be cleaned out um, we got rid of a ton of stuff that expired and i think that this looks so much better and pretty in the nice pink and gray containers so hopefully we can keep it organized like that going forward and yeah super happy to get that done the next thing the next organization thing is going to be this junk drawer which it is full to the rim of stuff and a lot of it is papers that i need to file i have a huge filing cabinet in the garage it's like one of those big ones like you would see in an office that has like the four or five big drawers so a lot of it i just need to get in there go through throw away things that need to be thrown away and get the stuff ready to file away but anywho thank y'all so much for joining us um, for another video i hope that you enjoyed it i know i probably did like a speed clip of us doing this organization but honestly that's the only way to uh show that just because it's kind of painful to watch in a uh, slow motion while we're going through things and having to try to read dates half of it charlie couldn't read he's like i can't read that date this looks so much better i'm so pleased with it thank y'all so much for um joining me for another video i hope that you enjoyed it and um my weekly vlog will be coming in the next video so thank you guys if you haven't already click that red subscribe button down below and that notification bell so that you don't miss any time that i upload and then also follow me over on instagram i will leave my instagram handle for you here again as well and i love you i will see y'all in the next video thanks guys mm -hmm.